was here at Hawkeye before Pathfinder got on orbit. Uh, at that time, we were trying to make sense of what does Hawkeye look like even though we don't have anything on orbit yet and we don't have any data. And so we were, you know, it was almost make-believe, like here, this is the kind of things we think we can do once we get up there and start collecting data. At the beginning, um, we didn't have any assets on orbit. And the first thing we had to do was uh, prove that this, this whole concept would work. So um, when I joined Hawkeye, actually, we were taking prototypes um, a year after the company was founded, putting them on airplanes and flying them around the Chesapeake Bay. So we poured a lot into getting Pathfinder up there. And I still remember standing in the control room in first contact and just kind of this anticipation of waiting for these satellites to come over the horizon and just being like, oh man, I, I hope these things, <laughs> all three of them talk, right? And I, I still remember and I have a picture of it on my phone, standing in the control room and the spectrum analyzer and seeing three transmit carriers, one from each one of the satellites coming down, and it was a pretty awesome experience. We launched a satellite five years ago. We proved that um, commercial RF that had been largely in the domain of, of U.S. governments and in classified areas that it could be provided um, reliably by a commercial uh, company. You know, we still use Pathfinder today for different R&D collects or surge capacity in certain areas. And it's pretty incredible considering it was only a two-year design life. I mean, that really says a lot to the ingenuity of the team. And uh, since then, we've taken a iterative hardware approach. We'll add more antennas. And we'll add more filters and, and frequency coverage until we get where we're at in 2023. And uh, we have antenna coverage and, and filter coverage that's basically continuous from 100 megahertz up to 15 gigahertz. And so doing that rapid development very quickly and continuing to step up in terms of capability is really important for being able to close the gap in terms of what some of these customers really want. Seven clusters, uh, 21 satellites on, on orbit. We've gotten to a point where we've, we've shown that um, this is an area where they can we can be trusted for augmentation and for um, helping provide um, uh, customers with um, critical information to address the intelligence gaps that they uh, that they have. So, I think the Pathfinder mission, you know, was hugely successful at building that foundation, and then putting us in a great place to be able to scale our business.